Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did not. <laughs> uh, Gemma was like up at, till till midnight. She was in such a great mood, but she really didn't want to sleep. And after skiing a full day and, you know, having all the kids and uh, I, the only thing I wanted to do was sleeping. But, um, but I'm very, very grateful for um, the joy, you know, it would have been way worse if she was sad, you know, she's still really happy and, and entertaining and fun. I was filming her when she was uh, like speaking and like playing around and, uh, and uh, trying to entertain her tired mom. <laughs> Um, I'm also very grateful for, uh, for the help I get. I just had an interview for a job and, um, as a flight attendant, I, I want to go back up into the air, but, uh, we're here with family. So I got wonderful help with little Gemma. I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm also very grateful for the sun that is out today uh, so we're, we're gonna be in the slopes a little later than than we are normally which i think the teenagers are really happy for <laughs> but they also helped me with with um, Gemma. so so we i think it was a win-win situation they got to chill a little bit <laughs> and and i got to um interview for this job it sounds like a lot of fun um I think that's it. We have a birthday boy in the family, an eight year old today. So we're gonna celebrate a lot. Um, and uh, it's exciting. We were up singing this morning. Uh, it's so lovely. I love uh, birthdays. Uh, in my family, it's been like a very strong tradition always. But now we are here in, in the, um, a village, like tiny village. I was looking for a cake yesterday night. Now we have the ingredients, so we're going to bake one this afternoon when we get back from the mountain. Um, yeah, so a lot of cool things going on. Um, I am super excited to, uh, you know, get back to work a little bit. I love, you know, being a YouTuber <laughs> and everything that comes with that, especially like the fantastic advantages from Patreon, um, which you should subscribe to if you haven't. You get more yoga and you get more of me um but um but i also miss you know having colleagues and i miss the international life that i've been living uh for so many years for me you know being in sweden all the time i feel like it makes me a little squarey um so i miss you know just speaking english and like you know going to france and italy and um Spain, you know, like anywhere, I just kind of feel the culture. And um, yeah, that was like flights and the job were really giving me kind of that vibe, but you know, being based in Stockholm. So it was a perfect combination for my restless soul <laughs> to do that. Um, so let's pray getting back up there. Um, it is a little strange though. I have a totally different kind of worry now when I'm a mother than I've ever had before. I've never ever been frightened of flying. But now also with, with all the things going on in the world, like the worst nightmare would be, you know, being stuck somewhere without your child. Like, I can't even imagine that feeling. Um, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'm fine with being uh, just a YouTuber for a little longer. <laughs> And now we're going to do some yoga. So get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye observe what's going on in your body and in your mind. Observe your breath and where in your body your breath is located.
uh, we're gonna start taking control over our breath. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. We are gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale to start. Very good job. We're gonna do uh, the hip roll. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And we can switch direction. Beautiful. We're also going to do a neck roll. So inhale slowly back. Be very careful. It's a very gentle area. And we're going to switch direction. Beautiful. We're going to come down on our back. And 
we're gonna place our right foot on our left knee and then grab hold of the knee so you get a nice stretch of your um, right hip. Breathe. If it's too much, you put your hands here. down with your foot and grab hold of your uh, right ankle come down to your left side and look over your right shoulder so you get a nice twist of your full spine and a great stretch of your hip Place your left foot on your right knee and grip hold of your right knee and lean back. down with your right foot grab hold of your left ankle with your right hand come down to the right side and look over your left shoulder Inhale, come up, hug your knees, and come back to toddler's position. We're going to finish with a short meditation, so get properly down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will be. It's only you in this moment. Om Paramatmane Namaha Sri Patanjala Yoga Darsharam Atasamati Padaha Hatha Yoga Nushasanam Yoga Chit Tavrti niroda tatadrashtu sarube vashtanam vrti sarubya mitanastra vrtaya panjataya Klishta, klishta. Slowly come back to the room where you are. We're going to finish this class together with three shanti. Place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti.
Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead for you to think your thoughts up through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Remember to go out and give. I love you best and I'll see you tomorrow.